Well, this is it, the big one. It's the Drennan Knockout Cup final between Lee Kerry and Gary Miller. You're joining us on day two at the fantastic Docklow Pools Complex. Yesterday saw the Stockpond play host to the first of the two-day matches. Lee Kerry stole the win with 144 pounds, 14 ounces small F1s, very closely followed by Gary Millet with 134 pounds, six. That brings them very close into day two, where it's all to play for on the Mickey Mouse Lake. That's it, lads. So, we're halfway through day two on the Mickey Mouse Lake. This morning, Lee Kerry drew peg six on the island, whereas Gary Miller pulled the fancied peg eight in the open water. Before the match, both would have preferred the open water area where they got a few more options. To kick off, Lee fed meat to the island on his right hand side, but also is placing his faith in a chop worm and caster approach in the open water. Both anglers started on the waggler, but it was Gary Miller that made it work best of all. He caught shallow and on the deck with a waggler and meat approach and is also feeding casters short. He's taken some lovely roach and some beautiful chub as well as a bonus barbel around three pound. At this stage, it really still is all to play for.
That's it, lads. Well done, lads. Well, that's it. The results are in. And today's runner-up to the Drennan Knockout Cup final is Mr. Lee Kerry. Well done, Lee. Thanks very much. The 2011 Drennan Knockout Cup champion is Gary Miller. Well done, Gary. Absolutely brilliant today, Gary. Very well done. I noticed both you and Lee started on the Waggler. What was the thought behind that? We caught on it in practice. Caught Chubb and Little Carp and stuff like that, Roach and all sorts on it. So that was the plan to start on that. You catch straight away, even without feeding any bait. So basically you were looking to catch what you could before you fed anything? That's right, yeah. Yeah, you could get maybe, I well, probably caught seven or eight pounds before I fed any bait at all. And what sort, of, what sort of weight had you got hour by hour? How was it all going? Was it going to plan for you? Yeah, you just, you just, well, you can't really have a plan, really, can you? You got an idea what how you're going to fish. We don't know what you're going to, how you're going to catch. Sometimes you could go out and it doesn't work, but yeah, it was good. We just, just keep putting fish in the net all the time. And when the waggler did dry up, just come back, catch a few roach, and rest it. And when you went out again, you caught another run of fish out there. And you fed eight mil meat on the bomb waggler. Eight, eight mil meat, yeah. Just so you could get the distance out yeah. there. Yeah. Plus, I think if you fed smaller bits, it's harder to keep on York and. There's a lot of nuisance fish like little roach and little chub and that that are taking it. And how's uh, what Lee has done today for today's match, how's that affected your approach? I would have done the same. I mean, obviously, if I'd have been on Lee's peg, I probably would have fished similar to him, probably fished mainly more pole fishing for carp. And did you expect you had that sort of weight at the end? How did you feel? No, I thought, I know I probably had over 60 pounds, but I didn't expect to have 90 pounds, to tell the truth. Well, you did enough, didn't you? A yeah. beautiful trophy you're clinching shows that. That's it. <laughs> well, brilliant stuff. Well done, Gary. Cheers, thanks. Mm -hmm.